The gentleman from Florida, Mr. Donalds, is recognized for five minutes. Is he here? He's on screen. On screen. Okay. Mr. Donalds. Mm -hmm. We can't hear you. You've got to unmute. Can't hear you. Can't hear you. While we work out the... Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, thank you, Madam Chair. My apologies for the technical difficulties. Um, my question is actually quite simple. It's, it's actually not really a question. Um, Ms. Hawley, I, I obviously considering the last round of questioning, I wanted to actually yield you as much time as you need, four minutes and 46 seconds, or whatever you choose to use to actually respond to some of the previous testimony in this hearing. Thank you, Congressman. Uh, a few points. Uh, the Dobbs decision was a decision of judicial humility. It's a humble decision to realize that the Supreme Court erred in 1973 when it invented out of whole cloth a right to an abortion. Justice Alito's opinion is meticulous. It explores every right that has been suggested, including the equal protection right suggested by Justice Ginsburg. There are literally law review articles, law review um, books devoted to saying what Roe should have said. And no one has been able to come up with an answer that's satisfactory because there simply is no right to an abortion in the United States Constitution. And when the Constitution says nothing about abortion, as Justice Alito said, then that is an issue for the democratic process. It's an issue for the states and for the people. And in addition, this is something that protects us as American people. We don't want a system of government in which five justices who are unelected, uh, however well-meaning they may be, are able to make up things uh, out of whole cloth, um, out of the Constitution. And then the last thing I'd like to say is that there is no state law in the country, none, zero, that criminalizes women for having an abortion. We realize that this is a tough spot that a lot of women may be in. Um, we want to come alongside them and support them, and zero states criminalize uh, the woman for that decision. In addition, zero states criminalize a physician who, in his or her determination, believes that a woman needs an abortion in order to uh, have life. Uh, thank you for that, that, that uh, response. A uh, quick question, Ms. Gray, as you mentioned uh, brief, briefly that there was an example of somebody who was charged or potentially was charged over a miscarriage. What, what, what are the specifics around um, that example that you cited? Well, you may have seen recently in California, local prosecutors had filed charges against uh, women who were investigated for their miscarriages. That, you know, this is even before the fall of Roe in the Dobbs decision. The thing is, I, I you know, in, in this hearing room, there has been a well, playing well, fast and Braves, loose one, with Ms. medical Braves, terms. One quick point, one quick point if, Ms. If as, I, as a point of clarity, one, one, just as a point of clarity, so the example of... So there have been over a thousand people who've been charged. charged. in the state of California before the Dobbs decision? There, even before the Dobbs decision, the question of miscarriage and the investigation into miscarriage is a thing that women and anyone who's pregnant would have to, to deal with. There have been over a thousand people who have been criminally investigated um, for their pregnancy outcomes. I, the thing that I, I think it's important for people to understand here is that the, the medical procedure of abortion applies to multiple types of situations. I'm not sure why in this room people are suggesting that abortion isn't healthcare. It is, abortion is healthcare. It's on the range of reproductive healthcare that people receive in this country. The only question is, will it continue to be safe and effective and will we be investigated and criminalized for it, either patients or the providers who provide that care? And the laws Ms. that Graves, states are- Ms. Graves, is there a state in the country right now that is seeking to criminalize or having legislation rates to criminalize um, people who seek an abortion, women who seek an abortion? 
So people will also be self-managing their own abortions, and they will fall under these statutes, well, which do provide criminal penalties. The union, is there a state in the union that is drafting legislation to criminalize There are states in the union that already have this legislation that have already been triggered into effect right now. I, I, Hall, so Amy, what Hall, I, I maybe you're misunderstanding the, the point that so, some people will travel to other providers and some people will self-manage their own care. Each of those people and the people who help them will find themselves in a web of criminal and civil penalties for doing what was perfectly if, legal. If for I may, the I last think you asked me a question. Five well, it, it, decades. Yes, yeah, with the essence of time, I'm, I'm the gentleman's time has expired. Over. Gentleman's time. Okay, the gentleman from.